Listen, there's energy out here of somebody who is deeply in love with you, but they are deeply in love with themselves at the same time. This is giving a little bit of narcissism, you guys. And the reason I say this is giving a little bit of narcissism is because this person, it looks like they left you for somebody else or they chose someone else here. You and this person were together at some point. What the label was, I don't know. Everybody's situation is going to be different. You know better than I do. But you were with this person and you felt like when you were together, the two of you always had a disagreement. This is somebody who like always wanted to be right. This is uh, someone who used to complain about, you, you know, you don't see my point of view type energy. When you were really collective, the one who I feel like was really misunderstood, this person did not try to understand how you felt, how something made you feel. This person was all like me, me, me. This, that's the energy that I'm getting here. And I feel like not only were they like me, 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 you know, and selfish, they also had somebody else that they were dealing with. Now, to what degree they were dealing with someone else, all I can say is when it came to you, this person's energy was non-committal, unfortunately. And now they are in this deep, deep regret because in the middle of me like shuffling the cards and laying them out on the table, Kim, I can't stop loving you, came on. And I'm like, oh, here we go with this. You know what I mean? Like... This The cards that are out here, really, this person actually looks up to you and they feel like this is a divine connection, okay? This card says, I want to worship you from head to toe in divine connection. So this person feels like the two of you have a divine connection. So this person may think that you're a soulmate or twin flame or may they may not even know what that is, okay? But they do feel like... They're a divine masculine or, or and you are divine feminine. And the point is here that I'm seeing based on the energy, this person is not a divine. They're not a divine energy. This person is actually in karmic energy because of the way that they treated you. I feel like they left you to go frolic with somebody and now they want to come back because they're no longer in love with the person that they're with or they no longer there's something unattractive that either A, happened over there with them and this other person. Now this person is not happy. And now they're disgusted with it not. They're disgusted with the other person and they're not attracted to them. I'm not attracted to them anymore. So let me go run back over here to the collective. I'm so disgusted with how I treated you. I feel like this person may have left you on red, you know, uh, back in the day, didn't want to communicate because they were over here with somebody else that they thought was going to be better for some unknown reason. Obviously, something was attractive for this person to just jet and leave you um, in the dust, I feel like. But now that it's not working out over there, I feel like... Um, this person may be texting you, calling you, sending you messages, whatever it is that they're doing collective. I feel like you're ignoring them now. You're ignoring this person. You pull back your energy. You're not talking to them. You may have them on block. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I feel like a lot of y'all are reading these messages, but you're not responding. Because when I ask, how does the collective feel about this person right now? An unfinished business came out in reverse. You feel like this uh, this is over. There's nothing to talk about. There, there's nothing to rekindle. There's nothing to reconcile. There's nothing to do. Uh, another card clarifying that was absence. I feel like you don't want to see this person. You removed yourself from their energy. You removed this person <clears throat> from your life. And you feel like the two of you were not on the same page and this person did not try to understand you. They didn't, they just didn't, they didn't try. And the reason why this person really didn't try is because they were with somebody else. And now this person wants to come back home. They're obsessively thinking about you. They want to reach out to you. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies bother me, y'all. Excuse me. <clears throat> Not only is this person obsessed and infatuated with you, though, this person, everybody else around this person, their family and their friends, they know that they are still in love with you. Even though they may have somebody else, 
that they're dealing with, everybody around this person knows that they are not in love with this other person and they are really in love with you. Now, when I clarified how this absence energy and unfinished business in reverse, when it came to you, I was like, okay, give me another card. Five of Cups in reverse came out for your energy. You don't regret splitting or leaving this person behind. You don't regret having met them. You don't regret experiencing the connection. You don't regret anything and you are recovering from this situation. You feel like you learned a lesson and you're good now, right? You're like, you know what? I feel better. I, I don't regret anything about what happened. I wouldn't change a thing. I treated this person with love, honesty, and respect. And they chose not to, to give me whatever it was that was should have been reciprocated. Cool. This person's going to have, have their own karma. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies were not bothering me before I, um, you know, started recording. So anyway, you're not in regrets about anything anymore. You're not sulking. You're not sad. You've just accepted it is what it is. And this person can just go on about their business. I feel like this person led you on, you know, and now they're planning on how to win you back. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy out here. You could be a water sign or this person could be a water sign. So we have, I'm planning on how to win you back. I'm coming back. Can I come back home? This person is like in their head. Like it's crazy how in their feelings they are right now. I don't think you care. Um, so beautiful by a music soul child is playing right now. So this person feels like you're really beautiful. You're very attractive, whether you're a male or a female, they're extremely attracted to you and they're no longer attracted to this karmic over here, who they are with, which I feel like how the audacity for me is the audacity because if they're, if they feel like you're so beautiful, if they feel like you're all of this and you're all of that. Why they didn't give it to you then? Again, this is another situation where, unfortunately, people just don't learn. You know, they have to learn the hard way. It's like you tell the child, don't touch the hot stove, and then they go touch it any damn way. And you're like, ooh, ooh, okay, baby, let me console you. But mommy told you, daddy told you not to do that. So let's see what's going on here. I feel like you don't want to talk to this person. You don't. You don't want to talk to this person not today, not tomorrow, and not the week after. You just don't want to talk to this person. This person feels like no matter what they do, that they can't keep their mind off of you. They can't stop thinking. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop loving you. This person tried. This is a case of a situation where they went somewhere else. It didn't work out the way that they thought it would. They tried, and then they were like, "Oh my gosh." I think I fucked up. I really think I made a big mistake. So show me here what's going on with this karmic right now. What's going on with this karmic in their life? Why do they want to collect the back all of a sudden? Oh, they're trying to do some healing. They're realizing they, they have healing to do and they're accepting the fact that they love you and they can't get over you and they know that <clears throat> you deserve better. All right. What? Yeah, regret. See? Regret. See, you are not in this regret. You're like, shit, I, I have no regrets about anything, but this person's like, I regret walking away. I wish what I knew then. I wish I knew then what I know now. So, this is why they're over here obsessing. So show me here, what's the, what's the deal with this karmic and this person over here, Holy Spirit? Yeah, there goes epiphany energy. I told you this person is realizing that they just really made a, dis a bad decision. Oh my God, what did I do? I feel so empty without the collective. They refuse to change. Um, this is the problem here. This change and courage came out in reverse. So that's telling me this person just was confused, stuck in some form of illusion. I don't know what they thought this whole situation was going to be when they went over the other side of the fence to see if how the grass looked so nice. If that grass was infested, balance in reverse, justice in reverse. This person could be getting karma, bad karma. Um, they could be going through some form of legal issues here. 
you know, this person sa sabotaged ego and fear. This is this is like definitely some sabotaging energy here. Low self-esteem. Maybe this person felt like, what, what's going on with this? What's this not enough energy and lacking confidence and self-sabotage? They felt like they couldn't give you what you needed here. What's this energy? About to confess. Okay. So let's see what this person's about to confess, although we know what they're about to confess. What does this person want to confess to the collective? Um, this person is seeing signs, synchronicities. That could be the reason why they feel like, oh, I must be a divine masculine or I must be a divine feminine. They may even be watching tarot readings here or spirit is guiding this person, sending them messages. They might be seeing 1111. They might be seeing 222. They may be seeing 333 or the infinity symbol or something like whatever this this person is seeing signs and they're like, oh, my goodness, um, they feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Now they're realizing that there's no one that compares to you. No one has ever made me feel the way that you do. You are irreplaceable. Trust the plan. I feel like this person's about to pop up on you. Be careful. Be careful. Or third party might pop up on you and want to talk to you after this person leaves them. This third party knows that this person wants to come towards you. This third party knows that this person is still in love with you. Let me shuffle here. Show me what. So, what's hidden here that the collective needs to know? Sorry for the loud noise. What's hidden here that the collective needs to know? That this person married somebody for money. Some of y'all, this person is in a relationship with somebody else over money, stability, what something looks like. Uh, for a business deal, partnership, or what somebody had, what, what looked good on paper, whatever it is, male or female, somebody either here is married or they chose a relationship. But the thing is, they don't love this person. They, they don't like them. They're not even attracted to them. Wow. Whew. Shoot, I don't know. This, this karmic might be... Somebody over here in this connection, is they're not sleeping together. The two of these people are not sleeping together. What does the collective need to know about this situation? What, what is hidden here? Mm, let's see. Somebody has a drug addiction that you don't know about, you guys, and they're unstable. Either this is unstable mental um, or this is like... They have a drug addiction that's out of control and there's no stability in this home. Okay. There's no harmony in the home. We have because stability, harmony, and flow came out in reverse. So four wands in reverse energy, struggling with bad vices, using substances, blocking out life, um, Hiding their drug addiction, physical dependence or, or on drugs or alcohol. So somebody literally is hiding an addiction. Wow. Tragedy. Hmm. And strategizing. I'm coming up with a plan and an offer that you can't refuse. You see what I'm saying? Two cards of this person being in this Seven of Swords energy, being real, real sneaky, trying to figure out a way how they can come back towards you without starting any drama, without setting off any alarms with this other person, um, you know, and still be it. I, I don't know how they think they're going to be able to come back towards you if they have a drug addiction. Now, for some of y'all, maybe the person that they're uh, attached to. <clears throat> has a drug addiction, but we'll see. Regret and repression. So this person knows that you're done with them and that they uh, that you've already learned your lesson and you've moved on here, right? But now they're over here in this regret and this repression, trying to repress their emotions, which might be why their drug habit or whatever this is that they are, they're using to cope, that habit has gotten worse, unfortunately. Show me more here. What else does the collective need to know about this situation? Some of y'all might be dealing with an air sign, an Aries. I'm sorry. You might be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. 
or you could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, okay? Or this is somebody involved. Could be you, could be them. But this person is really upset with you, triggered, mad, and angry about someone or a situation, or this is a third party that's angry and mad, okay? Because this person is still in love with you. I told you, somebody here is not doing good. Four of Wands in reverse energy. It's like they're not stable. They could be spending a lot of money to keep up appearances or a habit. I feel like whatever they thought they met, whoever they thought they met that had something, they either blew through that money quicker than they had it. And it just it just it ran through their fingers like water. Burning through cash, can't save, spends money faster than they can earn it. Somebody here may be losing a house or they might be getting evicted or um, or um, foreclosing. The home could be foreclosing. <clears throat> Somebody might be needing to move out because they can no longer afford a home. And then we have this water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy that came out as well. So that's out here twice. So we definitely have a water sign involved in this situation. But the thing is, the water sign energy is in this low-key energy. Minding their own business, healing, you know, separating themselves, um, spending a lot of time alone, maybe reading, maybe studying. This I feel like this is your energy. You, your absence is felt. Your absence is really being felt right now. And I feel like you really honestly don't care. <laughs> I do. I feel like you don't care. Excuse me, you guys. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's shuffle. Move on to a different deck. <clears throat> oh, this dang on air sign wanted to come out again. King of Swords and a Ten of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody here, either this King of Swords caused this heartbreaking ending or they are heartbroken and they were betrayed or they betrayed somebody. I know they betrayed you, but I feel like this is the energy this King of Swords is currently in. There's a situation ending over where they are. Yeah. And then now they want to talk to you, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is you. They got something to say to you. And you're like, um, I'm good. I, we don't need to talk about anything. That's how I feel. <clears throat> so what's this person's next move? What's this person's next move? You guys, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here or anything resonated. What's this person's next move? Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> they might buy you a gift. Somebody here could be a younger earth sign. This could be like, let's go out for coffee. Please, will you just hear me out? Um, this could be them bringing you flowers, dropping off a card, a teddy bear, whatever that is. I feel like it's going to start small. Um, <clears throat> show me what this um, the person's next move is. The Eight of Swords. What's this person's next move? The Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands. I feel like somebody's playing games here. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Who is this? Queen of Wands. For those of you who are dealing with somebody, this could be the third party in some really weird ass energy. Or your person could be a feminine. They could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. And all this person is doing is playing games. I, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands and the Page of Cups is out here. I feel like this person is going to come across as like they have so much to offer you. <clears throat> Make all these plans. But legit, all they can offer you is the Page of Pentacles energy. Because this Eight of Swords is like... Somebody is like... Doesn't really have the ability to give you this Ace of Pentacles and this Ace of Wands. All they really have the ability to do is give you this Page of Pentacles. What's this Eight of Swords energy? What's this Eight of Swords energy? Too many, Holy Spirit. What's this Eight of Swords energy? Somebody here could be a Gemini. Eight of Swords. Thank you. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I'm telling you, whoever this person is, they are going to act like they... Are, they could give you this Ace of Pentacles and this Ace of Wands, but all they really can give you is this Page of Pentacles, okay? Somebody's hands are tied. Somebody's money is tied in a bank account or, or maybe like a joint 
bank account or something. Uh, this, this person is emotionally manipulative here. All right. King of Cups in reverse with the lover's energy. It's like somebody has a choice to make, but I feel like the decision that they're going to make to move to come towards you is with passion. Sure. Right. They are very attracted to you, but I feel like they can't give you what you deserve. Clarify this King of Cups in reverse, please. Clarify this King of Cups in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. What about this King of Cups in reverse? What about this King of Cups in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune? The Chariot. I feel like this, yeah, the Five of Swords is back at the bottom of the deck again. With the King of Swords in reverse. I'm telling you, in the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like this person is going to like stall. The Chariot is here in reverse. Cancer energy and Strength card Leo is here. They could be any Zodiac sign, but I feel like this person is going to act like that. Let's get married. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's make plans. Let's have a family. I love you. But all they have to offer you right now is this page of pentacles when they come towards you, when they decide to. And then they're going to act like, yeah, let's move this forward. Wheel of Fortune. I'm ready to change. Let's, let's just, you know, do the right thing and be together. And it's like they're still holding back. They're still finding a reason to stall. I feel like the reason that they're stalling with this charity in reverse is because they really don't have it to give. Clarify this charity in reverse. Yeah, they don't have it to give. Five of Pentacles. Can't make it up. Ow, go spirit. Go spirit. Thank you. They don't have it, unfortunately, baby. Two of Cups in reverse. This is over, I feel like, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. You don't have any love for them, unfortunately. Not anymore. Not anymore. This person is experiencing some form of material financial loss, and I feel like the reason that they're either in poverty, having some, maybe they're up to their heels in debt, is because they overspent this other person's money. Now the person's money done ran out, and they're not attracted to them anymore. And that's not even fair to the karmic. I don't know what the karmic is doing over there, but it doesn't even matter. I just feel like the money ran out. Now they're not attracted to this person anymore. Now they want to run back to you when it's convenient? No. No. Holy Spirit, please, please block this person and send them back where they came from to allow them to do their healing on their own. In Jesus' name. Um... Some of y'all, this person is married, or they might want to come towards you and say, hey, let's get married. Or the person they're watching, the person that is, uh, they're married to for some of y'all, for those of you, they're married, they're watching you and stalking you on social media. I mean, we already know somebody's obsessed and infatuated with you. They're watching you be happy on social media too. They're watching you be happy on social media while they're having all these money problems. Uh... Some of y'all have a fake friend in your energy. Be careful with that. That's connected to somebody in this situation. The fake friend might be telling your business too. Huh. Without you by Monica's playing right now. Um, fake friend. A friend who is two-faced and not genuine talks about you behind your back and using you for clout. Yeah, whoever this, that could have been the Queen of Wands energy and playing games. Whoever this fake friend is, they're not your friend. They're either only around you for what they can get or for your star energy or for your healing energy or whatever this is. This person is just, they need to grow up, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I feel like you know this person is going to come towards you. I think spirit just wants you to really, really know. Um what this person's going to be about. They're trying to give you a heads up. Let's see what zodiac signs you could be dealing with. Scorpio, Aries. Pisces, Aries again. Definitely dealing with an Aries. Cancer and Taurus. And we already had Gemini, Leo, Cancer out here. Pisces, Scorpio, and then um, Aquarius. And it could be anybody. 
Um, I'll see y'all later until next time. Um, subscribe to the channel if you need a personal reading. That information is below in the description box. I love y'all. Have a good night or a good day.